Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a major topic to cover, one that's super important for all you DevOps teams out there. Yep, it's time to say goodbye to CentOS 7. With its official end of life coming up on June 30th, 2024, a lot of you might be wondering what to do next. So, um, let's dive into your options and figure out the best path forward. First off, a little history. Back in December 2020, Red Hat announced a big shift. They decided to, uh, move their focus from CentOS Linux, which was a rebuild of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or RL, to CentOS Stream. CentOS has stream tracks just ahead of a current RHL release. This announcement upset a lot of CentOS users, and many of them stuck with CentOS 7, the last supported version of classic CentOS. Now, just how popular is CentOS 7? According to Landsweeper, an IT asset management company, about 26% of the 200,000 Linux devices they scanned run CentOS. And according to Web Technology Servers Count, CentOS is still used by 2.4% of all websites. That's a pretty significant chunk, considering how old CentOS 7 is now. So why have so many stayed loyal to a dying operating system? Well, for years, CentOS was the go-to choice for web hosting companies. It was fast, free, and reliable. If you needed top-notch tech support, you'd go for Arahel. But for those who could manage without the hand-holding, CentOS was perfect especially for web serving and LAMP stack applications. However, it's time to change. Esben Dashi, Landsweeper's senior technical product evangelist, points out that using a deprecated version of CentOS poses several significant risks. Without continued support, these systems won't get critical security updates, leaving them vulnerable to cyber attacks. Plus, compliance with industry regulations could be jeopardized, potentially leading to legal and financial issues. And, um, Operational inefficiencies are also a concern, as deprecated systems might face compatibility issues with new software and hardware. So, what can you do? The good news is, you have several choices. Red Hat, of course, hopes you'll switch to RHL 8 or RHL 9. They've got tools like Red Hat Insights, Red Hat Satellite, and Convert to RHL to help make the transition smoother. Convert to RHL can also be used to move from other RHL-style Linux distros to RHL. And if you're an Ansible user, you can automate the process to make it even easier. For those running CentOS instances on major hyperclouds like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, Red Hat offers Red Hat Enterprise Linux for third-party Linux migration. These tools are designed to help CentOS 7 users convert their in-place instances to RHL 7 smoothly. But you might be asking, wait, doesn't RHL 7 also reach its end of life on June 30th? Well, yes, sort of, but not really. Red Hat recently announced a new program, Extended Lifecycle Support, ELS, for RL7. Subscribers get a four-year add-on, providing security patches and updates through June 30th, 2028. Now, if you're determined to stick with CentOS 7, there are third-party companies that offer extended support. For example, CIQ Bridge, OpenLogic, and TuxCare all provide extended support with critical updates and security patches beyond the official end-of-life date. CIQ Bridge offers up to three years of support. OpenLogic extends support through December 2029, and TuxCare ensures continued security and stability for systems that can't be immediately migrated. Another option is moving to CentOS Stream, which is Red Hat's RHL development Linux distro. Stream is a rolling release distribution, meaning it continuously receives updates. While it's free and always up-to-date, it's not designed for production use and lacks the stability of traditional CentOS or RHL. In my opinion, Stream is great for cutting-edge developers, but not ideal for business use. Managing it, even with DevOps tools, can be a hassle. So if you're looking for stability, you might want to consider other options. This brings us to third-party RHL clones like Alma Linux and Rocky Linux. Both are free to use and work exceptionally well. According to statistics from the Fedora Extra Packages for Enterprise Linux, EPEL. Special interest group, Rocky Linux is now the most popular Rachel style Linux, with nearly a million instances running, followed by RHL and Alma Linux. Both Alma Linux and Rocky Linux offer migration tools for CentOS 7 users. With Ascender, an open source Ansible ADUX fork, you can automate the transition from CentOS to Rocky Linux. If you haven't checked out either of these yet, it's definitely time to give them a look. So, there you have it. CentOS 7 has been a loyal servant for years but it's time to move on to something new and safer. Whether it's RHL, CentOS Stream, Alma Linux, or Rocky Linux, make sure to choose a path that ensures security, stability, and compliance for your organization. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, 
please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tech updates and reviews. Let me know in the comments which path you're considering or if you have any questions. Until next time, stay safe and keep your systems running smoothly.